light one, light two, and yeah, it looks pretty good. Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, this is uh, episode three of Real Talk. I'm calling this episode stigma. Um, it's been kind of weird uh, as of lately. I've been realizing some things. Um, it's always been uh, a topic that people discuss, but I never really saw how it impacted my life necessarily. But there is a stigma uh, around the church and, and being a Christian these days. And I never really noticed it until the other day at work when one of my coworkers, one of my coworkers, uh, came in and, and had been drinking and was like kind of uh, belligerent and like not really, they're just acting them like themselves, you know, and said a cuss word here and there and uh, they apologized and were like, I'm sorry, I don't, know, I don't know you that well. I don't know if it's polite to cuss in front of you. And it kind of put me back a little bit. I was like, you know, I appreciate the, the uh, politeness and respect and I shouldn't be complaining necessarily about um, having been given respect and politeness. Uh, but on the other side of that, it's kind of like you can go to the far extreme of, you know, someone being almost uh, mocking you kind of for being a Christian. Like, oh, you're goody two shoes, whatever. Um, but uh, it just kind of kind of like made me feel uncomfortable like they were trying to prove themselves to me in some way or trying to fit into a societal standard that they thought that I would hold them up to like I'm an ordinary guy just like everybody else you know I'm not I'm not the one you answer to at the end of the day so for someone to kind of like apologize for being who they are you know it kind of you know makes me wonder if we're doing uh if we're being the church in the right way and some will say yeah that's a good thing that they're they notice you they are um, aware of your christianity and your faith and stuff and they want to respect that at the same time you've got the extremists that like i said go into the effect of mocking you like oh you're goody two shoes you don't do anything fun and um I never had anyone necessarily say that to me, but, uh, you know, I kind of realized that like, that kind of stuff sort of does happen. You know, I used to run, run around with a bunch of guys in school and, um, I kind of one day decided, you know, I'm not gonna go do that kind of stuff anymore, which I still do it occasionally, but not as often. And I, I realized after a few times of saying, nah, I don't really want to go do that. They kind of just assumed that I wouldn't ever want to and they kind of quit asking me to do stuff. And it kind of was like, you know, why can't we do something other than that? You know, there's plenty of ways to have fun. Let's go, let's go play football. Let's go play basketball. Let's go to the movies. Like what's wrong with that, you know? But um, as I got older, it just kind of didn't really matter anymore and I didn't let it bother me. But that's kind of one of those things I didn't really realize it, and it seems kind of, I don't know, like, uh, like I was the guy that was like goody two shoes that wasn't able to have fun or anything, and like that's not the case, I just don't, I don't want people to look at Christianity or at me and say, oh, um, they think they're better than us because they don't do anything like that like I have I mess up every day just like everybody else it's just I'm actively trying not to so that's that's just something I want to talk about about the stigma around church and, and people that go to church is that you know does that bother anybody else that people look at you and like I necessarily wasn't being like mocked but like, if I was to be in that situation, I don't know like what I would do in that situation. They were actually being polite. And, and to me, that kind of makes me realize they, they noticed or saw something different in me or the way I conducted myself, that it was 
it was different than every other person, I guess. But, um, yeah, I just, if you've ever been in one of those situations, leave a comment down below. I'd like to uh, chat with you about it. But it's just kind of, you know, it's, it's one way or the other. You can be, someone can be super polite and respect your faith. And you have other people who are mocking you. So either way, it's like, it's weird to, it's weird to, like, judge if they're, or uh, not judge, but, like, comprehend whether or not they are mocking you of, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't cuss in front of this guy. He's, oh, he's a Christian, you know, shouldn't do anything bad in front of him. Or if they're being sincere and, like, you know, just respectful of, of your choices and your faith and stuff, so... That's just one of those things I wanted to talk about. I know it was a little bit all over the place, but uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, I'd like to chat with you guys a little bit about some of the experiences you experiences you've uh, you've been in. So uh, uh, I'm also open to taking suggestions for new top uh, topics for new videos, just like this. But um, if you've been following along this far, go ahead and and subscribe and ring the there's a little bell icon go ahead and click that and you'll get notifications for when i upload new videos but uh for now uh, it was good chatting with you guys i'll catch y'all next time